What is the wildest or most specific category of adult content you've ever come across? There was a hentai dude and I came across where this girl goes to a sex toy store, and selects a service that's basically taking a pill to temporarily morph into a sex toy for shits and giggles I guess. After the pill does its thing, they package her and put her on a shelf. This sounds like a NSFW version of the Twilight Zone. All Sarah Jane wanted was pleasure. And in the end that's what she got. So remember the next time you walk into a lingerie shop on the outskirts of town, you may be walking into the Twilight Zone. This is the greatest comment on this thread. My friend showed me a porno, that looked to be from maybe the early 90s. It's a jungle setting, and it's three people in pterodactyl costumes fucking each other while a fourth one flaps around in front of the camera. I think there may even be puppets. No joke this sounds fucking hilarious and I kind of want to see it. It's on the major sites. I mentioned it in a past similar thread, and when looking. That one was on my old college's porn server. It's fucking wild. I'm not proud that I've seen this but. Some URL. I found out about a woman on of who just crushes or breaks clay pots, some fired, some soft. Props to her for finding a niche and cornering the market. Another one was the wedgie fetish community. This one content creator had a pulley system she would connect to the back of her underwear and hang from it. I'm a NSFW artist on Twitter, so I happen across various fetish content creators peddling their wares. Fun times. The first one is tapping into the Zelda market. The first part sounds like some shit Link would be looking up feverishly. Zelda. Please slam your dummy thick ass on this pot for me. Link. I remember finding a comic on Tumblr that featured incestuous anthropomorphic water droplets having public threesomes. I've seen some weird stuff but that one always sticks out in my mind. Poor notwithstanding, this is one of the most bizarre concepts I've ever heard of. I mean, water droplets having threesomes is random enough. But they specifically have to be water droplets related to each other? I mean at the end of the day aren't we all related to each other? r slash hydro and the homies that porn where they seal you in a plastic bag i don't know how i got to it but it gave me an instant panic attack the forbidden sous vide all you have to do now is to throw her in 130 degrees fahrenheit water for two hours don't forget to sear the skin before eating <laughs> I found a post yesterday that briefly mentioned a group of people who experience sexual arousal from falling down flights of stairs. Not sure if it was just a joke, but at this point I've seen enough bizarre stuff online that it really wouldn't surprise me if it were actually a thing. It's called climacophilia and I'm not proud to say I remembered that off the top of my head. Apparently you haven't damaged your memory falling down stairs. Yet. Yeet. Brazilian fart porn. I thought South Park was just making it up. I was mistaken. I wanna know who in the hell faps to all those sounds. Me. But not specifically Brazilian. I get turned on by any flatulence from a mildly attractive woman. Found James Joyce's Reddit account. You had an arse full of farts that night Mary. I think the weirdest and grossest is not really porn, but a fetish for crushing critters. Like. People will crush snails, or bugs, or other living creatures. It is one of the few things in porn that truly makes me feel sick. I mean, watch any serial killer documentary and you'll find that there's a small portion of the population that gets a rush from killing things. It's a very serious and very dangerous psychological disorder for obvious reasons. Not your run-of-the-mill fetish or even your gross slash niche fetish. More of your strong warning sign this person has psychopathic and homicidal tendencies behavior. So true. I mentioned in another comment that I think these fetishes are either an excuse to hurt or main something, or an undiagnosed disorder. You said it better though. These are absolutely homicidal tendencies. Was working on an older customer's laptop one time back in college. Opened Internet Explorer to download Malwarebytes, it asked do you wish to pick back up where you crashed or whatever it asks when it crashes unexpectedly. 
I clicked yes and it took me to a website that was for people who enjoy old men and women in diapers soiling themselves. Truly one of the most bizarre websites I've ever seen. Prior to the porn ban Tumblr had a fair few of those. Hell, I'd argue they still do, they just stopped being visually sexual. I make art and I was once requested to make some Hello Kitty art. That's tame enough, there's a fair few people that like the cutesy Sanrio aesthetic. What's not tame is that I got a fair few likes and even a reblog or two from the little space crowd. It was like a game of Russian roulette scrolling through the blogs that reblogged those posts, sometimes it would be a harmless pastel colored Hello Kitty fan blog, sometimes you'd get a face full of someone dirty nappy giggling about spankies from daddy's special toys. Like whatever gets your rocks off but Jesus Christ that's not what I expected to see in my notes. Balloon popping is up there. Balloons? Hey now. There are some things we should never sexualize, and balloons is one of them. Imagine one of them playing balloons TD. How TF do you even sexualize balloons? The Wonder Bread guy, very slight NSFW, is definitely my first thought when it comes to overly specific content with his love of animated women buying large quantities of Wonder Bread, as well as deforestation, especially with Wonder Bread chainsaws. Didn't Shadman turn down a commission from him? Yup. Everyone has their weirdness limit. Lolly Nazi incest is one thing, but even Shad draws the line at deforestation. Nazi? No thank you. Dinosaur erotic fiction. It does have some hilarious titles though, such as Taken by a Billionaire Dinosaur, Part 2, Jurassic Boner or Satisfied by a Stegosaurus. Or Space Raptor Butt Invasion, which got nominated for a Hugo Award a few years back. The story of how this happened is long, complicated, and full of fandom drama. Links. Some URL. I just came for the recommendations. Recommendation porn is so hot. Made me come too. Go home dad. For or from? Nipple fucking or r slash glotits. Great. Now I have to buy a flashlight. Just wondering, couldn't that be used to spot cancer? Like, being actually useful on top of. Well. Entertaining? I mean, we already have mammograms for that. Found a video of an attractive woman in lingerie sitting on a bed cracking her knuckles one by one. I'm an average looking dude. You think I could get paid for doing this? Hell, I'll even wear the lingerie if the pay's good enough. If you call it ASMR, probably. Paid, yes. Well paid, no. You'll have a smaller market of mostly older gay dudes. Sounds like my bedtime routine. Slash r slash dragons fucking cars. I was a part of that sub when it was a joke sub, like r slash Amish and there were literally no posts. Then someone posted something and everyone thought it was funny that it had actually happened. Then the posts kept coming and I left quickly. A strange permutation of Poe's law. That's why I'm scared of the recent birds are not real movement. The Flat Earth Society was originally a joke and now it's a full on shit show. All it takes is a few people who actually believe it and other people gather like wildfire. The guy obsessed with rich women buying Wonder Bread. The Wonder Bread fetish guy will never get old. The people who are into balloons. I have a friend who does balloon fetish stuff online. I didn't know about it for a while and then on two separate occasions we ran into people who recognized her in public. It's my buddy's girlfriend and he couldn't be less interested in it. Is she interested in it or is it just for the money? Like is the buddy having to slowly dodge balloons in bed lol. She's pretty into it, but I know they don't do anything together with the balloons. I don't know if it qualifies as adult, but r slash Taylor Swift armpit exists. The sub description in the sidebar made me chuckle. Some guy had a really specific fetish and created this sub. We just keep it running. Created by deleted, a community for 8 years. Mods acting like they aren't freaks themselves lol. To be fair, it is a nice armpit. I once encountered a fetish video of a lady basically orgasming while picking her nose. 
the comments were wildly off the charts horny. Once came across a video of a girl picking her nose with her toe. The comments were a wild mix of foot fetishist and booger fetishist. Insane clown pussy slash fhook.com. So many good answers to this question from fhooked. Ah. Long time since I've seen this. This isn't shocking anymore. Should I be concerned? What the fuck? Well that was a ride. Video above this was a couple having sex on the side of the road then shooting a gun at passerby's filming. I'd say that's pretty much it. I really don't get r slash buck sharpies. Well. Why? 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 You know what? Vaguely enjoyable to look at. Doesn't get me hard but better than most of this thread. It's only small step away from anal toys in the butt really.